Hello, in today's video I'll be replacing the blower motor on the Chevy Impala. It tends to squeak as it spins and only gets louder as the knob is rotated to a faster speed. But today all of a sudden it wants to get camera shy. You can find this blower motor as in most vehicles on the underside of the dash on the passenger side. To get to this blower motor, first we'll have to remove this cover that's being held on by three pushing clips. They're pretty easy to remove. We can use something like a flat blade screwdriver to lift the center part of the clip up which allows the remainder of the clip to be removed. And now we can repeat this for the remaining two clips. After removing the last clip, the panel should just drop down, but it'll still have a light attached to it. To remove it, just rotate it a little and slide the light off. The panel will now be able to come off completely. This is our blower motor. The first thing we'll want to do is disconnect the connector. We can use the same screwdriver to press in on this part of the tab to pull the connector back and off. Now to remove the blower motor itself, we'll need a 5.5mm socket to loosen and remove the three screws. I also use a small extension attached to it to help give me a little more travel with the ratchet. That's one. That's two. And that's the third. If the blower motor did not fall down when removing the last screw, just wiggle it off and it should just come down. These blower motors, just like any other fan, before they go back and start making noises, squeaks, squeals, or may not spin at all, which obviously tell you they're bad. But other times you'll get noises caused by other things hitting the blades, so not having the cabin filter allows debris or leaves to get inside and cause weird noises like this. So noises may not always be a bad blower motor, but in my case it is. This is the new replacement blower motor next to the old one. Before trying to install it, I just make sure that it matches, which it looks like it does, and I also check to make sure the connection is the same. If so, you're good to go. This is where the blower motor mounts. There are three knobs where the holes on the blower motor housing slide into. So when placing your blower motor, you'll want to make sure all three slide in when reinstalling the three screws. Now that you got the three screws loosely installed, you'll want to make sure that it sits flat so you can begin tightening the screws. You'll want to get them in as much as you can by hand before using the ratchet. When tightening them, you'll want to bring them down little by little, and you don't want to tighten them too much since it's plastic that you're screwing into. After a little, I give it a quick check just to make sure that it's going in evenly. Really. 
And now that we got them all tight, we can reconnect the electrical connection. Making sure that it's completely in. And now finally we can reinstall the panel, installing the light first. And we can now reinstall the three clips. And finally, we just want to verify that the blower motor works, which it does. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button to support my video and channel. And please subscribe if you haven't done so.